Okay. So, um, we're going to work on the body tone file. So, to start the PHP, tag question mark PHP. And then you're going to start working on whatever we can write between those two tags. It's going to be the PHP code. So, I'm just closing it to make sure that you don't miss it at the end. So, for example, if you want to um, print greeting, first greeting, so you do echo, that's what you use for PHP. And then you could say hello or welcome. To our database connection. Now, if you want to use the okay, so you need to click so you Okay. So you could do, for example, um, if I want to print the name of the person, I could cost and then I put name. That's the that's the, the, the Now, what I'm going to do, you need to create variables for every single field in your database. Okay, so we're going to create our variables in here. So the first variable is I'm going to create is the user variable. And the user we're going to work is the root because we don't have a particular user. So working on the root of the file and then the next one is the server and the server name that we're using is the local host and you need to have a semicolon after every single command line in PHP okay the next thing is I'm then going to um, give the database name. I create a variable called database name, and the database name that we've used. What did we call it again? Is it Alien Swan? Okay, I'm just going to double check the database name in my PHP admin. So it's DB1, thank you. And then now the next one, the next group I'm create is the table name. Okay, and the table name is aliens for me. So it's, it depends on what you use. So it's table name. Just make sure that the spelling correctly. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing is I'm going to create a relationship. Or a or I build or information into my database, retrieve any information from my database, place up to So we're going to create um a, for a variable called connection and this one here is you're going to say new my sql sqli and connect you can see that i've got this one here yes
في الدار بعيد أدوز ميرا okay. so connection yes كاتب هو as a hook is do the this one if I got a program if I if I miss all the instructions then it's gonna be a problem okay. um server so we've got the server name so we've got this variable here I've got so I've given the server name Yeah, got the server name here. And then the next one is the username. And then the next one is the pass. Um, I'll, I'll do the pass now. And then the next one, it needs to be the database name. Okay, now the pass, I'm just going to create the pass folder, sorry, the pass variable. It's in here. And then Okay, now so this is will create a connection, will start to connect but you have to check, can you connect or not first? Okay, so we're going to put an if statement in here. So we'll say if not connect, is the normal if statements that we used, um, open curly brackets, we say die, and then open a bracket connection failed. You can put any... You can put any text that you want to have. And then you probably gonna put in here the error. My SQL, so that's the one that I'm using. Underscore connection. Underscore error. If it is, so close that curly bracket, else, that means it's a cor cor correct com uh, connection, then you could say, echo, you're printing a message, you have connected successfully. You had performed a successful for example. And close that curly bracket. All right. So I'm just performed a connection. I must say that you must test your connection. Can you connect first before you can um, do any of the rest of the um, logic? Okay. So to test it, I'm just tested. We'll just go to the local server. In here, so we've already got that one in here. So it says error, so that's when I've missed a semicolon or a curly bracket. So I'll just go back and check my uh, here. It's very, very specific. So I Identify, you've got identify variables. The problem in the PHP is my PHP coding. So basically, we've um, changed this post into capital letter. We have um, put a variable and a variable in here, so it needs to be a capital letter. Um, 
this one here is mysql underscore connect so if you use mysql so just mysql underscore connect and if you save everything in here then you can go to your form page and if now it tells me that you've connected to correctly because it's printed this um, message and I said print you had performed the connection all right so can we all perform a correct connection first like for example if I typed a name here William if I press new aliens you can see that should type can you see how this been printed my name because I posted it all right so that's what you're doing you are performing 